the Czech Republic failed to qualify for the 2010 World Cup after dropping too many points in their qualifying group. Having made the European Championship final in 1996, the team was drawn with Liechtenstein, Lithuania, Scotland and reigning champion Spain into Group I. The Euro 2012 campaign didn't get off to a great start with a 1-0 defeat in Olomouc. David Schernas's emphatic header helped Lithuania on the way to their first victory over the Czechs. The hosts had a great chance to equalise from the spot after a foul on Martin Fenin. But Milan Baros's penalty kick was saved. They picked up their first points a month later, though, with a narrow win over Scotland in Prague. And the Czech's second win in five days saw them take second place in the group. The winning streak ended in Spain, though they did take the lead against the World Cup and European champions. Two goals from David Villa consigned the Czechs to defeat. Their second meeting with bottom side Liechtenstein ended the same way as their first encounter, a 2-0 win. Barosh added to his account in the opening minutes with a pinpoint finish. And the hosts added a second goal through Michael Kadlec's near post header. Despite sharing the points with Scotland in their next match, the Czech Republic kept their hold on second place intact, while Spain continued to pull away. A 2-0 defeat to the group leaders the following month meant the race for second would go down to the final match. A Czech demolition of Lithuania four days later finally secured them a place in the playoffs. Michael Kadlec's penalty just two minutes in set them on their way. Jan Resak then bagged a double before half-time to make life even easier. The dismissal of Roman Hubnik was the only sour note for the Republic, with Kadlec tucking away his second penalty with five minutes to go. The Czechs hosted Montenegro in the first leg of the playoffs and used their home advantage to full effect. Montenegro threatened just after half-time, Petr Cech's one-handed save denying Simon Vukovic. But the Czechs rallied, and Vaclav Pilar's spectacular strike gave the home side the lead after the hour mark. Tomas Shivok's injury time header meant they went into the second leg with a 2-0 cushion. Montenegro refused to roll over in the return leg four days later. Dejan Damjanovic's fierce drive rattled the crossbar. Mirko Vucinic missed a header with the goal at his mercy. And the striker was again at the heart of the action when he was thwarted by a Czech double save. After resisting Montenegro for so long, the Czechs secured their place in Poland and Ukraine with a goal from Petr Jerasek with nine minutes to go. YouTube.com forward slash goal is full of stuff like this and proper football too. To make sure you don't miss out, just hit the subscribe button. It really is that simple.